Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In today's video tutorial I will show you how to make these gingham plate scrunchies. Super easy and simple to make. You can make a bunch of them for just a few hours and give them away to your friends and family for Christmas and special days. So let's start with the materials and the pattern itself. For this pattern we will need uh, a double knit weight yarn. Uh, I, I recommend you to use thinner yarn, not uh, thicker yarn, as uh, light worsted weight or deca weight yarn or maybe sport weight yarn. The scrunchie is uh, looking better uh, with a thinner yarn. Uh, the shade I, that I will show you in the video will be the red scrunchie, so we will, we will need dark red, black color and a red color. The hook that I'm using is 4mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle. Also we need elastic band. You can use uh, ready, uh, already made elastic bands but I prefer this elastic band and uh, as, I'm, as I can make the scrunchie the right size for me. So let's start with the pattern itself. We are starting with the dark red color. Start with a chain of 80 plus 2. Uh, the, the foundation chain for this pattern must be a, a number which can be divided by 4 as the pattern requires 4 stitch repeats for each color. Make a slip knot and just make 80 chains. I finished my foundation chain of 82 and now we are starting with row 1. Uh, in this pattern the tricky part is that we need to change the color invisibly and we need to, to carry on the yarn as we crochet along. I will show you how to do the both of them. R uh, row 1. Make double crochet into the 4th chain from your hook. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the 4th chain. Yarn over, insert your hook into the 4th chain from your hook, yarn over and pull through. We have 3 loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the first 2 loops, yarn over again and pull through the rest of the, uh, the, rest, the remaining 2 loops. This is the first double crochet. These chains here are counted as a double crochet and all the chain that we will make in the beginning will be counted as double crochet throughout the pattern. Make double crochet into the next chain. One, two, three double crochet and in the, in the fourth double crochet we will attach our, our second color. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over and pull through 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the 2 loops on your hook. We have 2 loops left, take your red color, make a slip knot and insert the loop on your hook. Now uh, pull through the 2 loops on your hook. As you can see this is the invisible change of colors. We will continue working with the second color now. So we, we need to carry on the first color. Align your first color with your foundation chain. Yarn over with the red color. Insert your hook into the next chain. Yarn over and pull through. 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through yarn over, pull through. You can see that the red color is uh, remains between the stitch. Make 3 double crochet with the red color. 1 2 3 This is our fourth double crochet and we are changing the color again. 
Make four double crochet with the dark red. This is the fourth one. I'm switching my color again. Make four double crochet with the red. Three double crochet. The fourth one. Switching the color again. Repeat this till the end of row one. I finished my first row. Let's start with row two. For row two, chain two. This is counted as double crochet. Don't forget to carry on your yarn. And uh, repeat row one. Just make double crochet into each stitch, but uh, switch color in every fourth. Double crochet into the first three stitches. One double crochet. Two double crochet, three, leave your red and take the dark color, switch to the dark, make four double crochet with the dark color, one, two, three, in the fourth one, switch the color again. Four double crochet with the red. Two. Three. Four. Leave your uh, leave the red color and take the dark color. Switch to it. We are repeating this till the end of row 2. Just make sure that you are working with the red onto the red and dark red onto the dark red color. Let me finish my row 2 and see you in row 3. I reached the end of row 2. In the end we have 3 stitches and the initial, cha uh, initial chain which is our turning chain. Make double crochet into the second chain of this chain 2. We will make this in the end of each row. Uh, for row 3 we need to switch the color, so cut the red color as the dark, uh, the dark red is your main color and we will work with it throughout the whole pattern. We are just changing the bright red with black. Take the black color, make a slip knot again. Insert it on your hook and pull through the loops that were on your hook. You can secure it with a knot. For row 3, chain 2 again. Make double crochet into the next 3 stitches. 1 Two, three. As I said, this is counted as double crochet, so this is the fourth, the, the fourth double crochet for us. Leave, leave the black color and take the dark red and switch to it. Make double crochet into the next four stitches with dark red. One. Two, three. In the fourth one, switch to black color. Repeat this till the end of row three. I I reach the end of my, of row three. I'm just reminding you that you need to make a double crochet into the second chain of your uh, of your turning chain two. This is your fourth 
double crochet of the last uh, cover repeat row 4 for row 4 chain 2 turn your work and make double crochet into the uh, next 3 stitches 1 2 3 leave your dark red and take the black color switch to the black make double crochet into the next 4 stitches with the black color 1 2 3 the fourth one and we are switching the color repeat this till the end of row 4 just work with the dark red onto the dark red parts and with the black onto the black parts let me finish my row 4 and see you in the next row I reached the end of row 4 in the end of row 4 switch, uh, switch to dark red again and uh, now repeat row 1 row 5 is the same as row, row 1 row 6 is the same as row 2 and row 7 and 8 are the same as row 3 and 4 that's why you need to repeat rows 1 to 4 one more time let me finish my repeat and see you in row 8 I finished my 8th row uh, uh, when you finish row 8 you will have a rectangular piece that now we will turn into a scrunch take your rectangular piece lay it flat take the elastic band and put it in the middle like this and fold your piece into two take your work chain one and turn make sure that the band is in the middle by joining the, uh, both parts we will form our, scr uh, our scrunch we made a chain 1 insert your hook into the first stitch of the first side and then into the chain 2 here in the second part yarn over and pull through bo uh, both two loops of the side and the loop that were on your hook this is a slip stitch just joining we are joining both sides by making a slip stitch insert it into the next stitch of your first side then into the next stitch of your second side yarn over pull through both sides and pull through the loop that were on your hook repeat this till the end and join both sides till you reach the end of the rectangular piece let me join by both sides and let's form the scrunch when you finish joining both sides and turning your rectangular piece into a tube cut your yarn and leave a longer tail for sewing then chain one to secure the yarn Take both sides, the open sides of your tube and just pull the elastic band to form the scrunch. You can give it a try and see if it's the right size for you 
and now secure with a knot. Tie the elastic band. I'm making two knots. And cut. You don't need to wave the ends in, as they will be left inside in your scrunchie. Take your tapestry needle Insert your yarn into the tapestry needle Take the scrunchie again and you have one side which has these uh, cut yarns Insert this side into this one so the ends will be left inside then just sew sew them together from one side to the other side Wave the ends in And you have your scrunchie done If you like this video tutorial, please subscribe to our channel uh, we have a few uh, Christmas videos that are coming up these weeks, so please, uh, stay tuned and make sure that you are, uh, hit that uh, subscribe button and ring the bell button so you will get a notification whenever we have a new video tutorial for you. See you next time!